at 6. And news for your health now. Look at a new laser treatment that treats all kinds of skin types. Medical reporter Dorian Gensler joins us now to look at this new technique. Dorian? Well, we all want to look as good as we can, we right? <laughs> Modern medicine offers all kinds of interesting ways for us to improve our appearance. But for many people of color, new cosmetic surgery techniques are not always an option. Tonight we take a look at why that's changing. Before the procedure, um, I was experiencing a lot of um, irritations uh, um, through shaving. Okay, James. James Johnson had the bumps removed from his neck. He really changed my life. He enhanced my life and my appearance. Adoria Doucette had the hair permanently removed from her face. I was really glad to, to find that I, there was actually something I could do and I wouldn't have to go through uh, the rest of my life with something that I wasn't uh, pleased with. Chris Kahn wanted to have the scar on his nose removed. All three of these patients have been treated with a new laser designed by Dr. Elliot Battle, co-founder of the medical spa Cultura in Northwest Washington. We try to reinvent lasers so they will be much safer for all skin colors and also safer for uh, people in general. Cultura's lasers were specially developed to treat diverse ethnic groups and skin colors, including dark and suntan skin. These lasers are used to remove unwanted hair, veins, moles, wrinkles, and tattoos. Up until now, people with darker skin tones haven't had many options for solving those problems because existing lasers can leave scars on the skin's pigmentation. When I talk to people of color, we're talking Italians, Mediterraneans, Asian, Black, uh, anybody with increased pigments, we were afraid that we would get these unwanted side effects, blisters, discoloration, dark spots, light spots. But Dr. Battle and his partner, Dr. Monty Harris, say Cultura is working to change that. A lot of the cosmetic or aesthetics industry really didn't tailor uh, to, to people of different ethnicities. And, uh, and it was pre previously really a, a largely untapped uh, market. And our goal here is really to welcome everyone. Uh, this is my uh, third treatment, and I practically have almost no more hair. Unlike traditional lasers, Cultura's lasers combine longer wavelengths with a cooling process that removes the laser's heat from the skin, so it will never reach the point where it damages the skin's pigment. The heat's always, always being removed, which means that your skin never heats up past a thermal damage threshold, mm -hmm. so we don't see side effects anymore. This woman, who asked us not to use her name, had laser treatment more than seven years ago, and she ended up with some terrible scarring. She came to Cultura for help. I had to keep the ice pack on my face for at least two days because it felt as if someone had stuck a cigarette out on the whole entire face. Doctors Battle and Harris have seen lots of patients who have had bad experiences with laser treatments. They're hoping that Cultura can help to bridge the cultural gap in cosmetic surgery. I think as the 21st century emerges and as the, the um, changing demographics of America arise, with it being a larger um, pigmented population of people, those services related to personal care are going to be needed. Both doctors warn that anyone of any color should always check on the physician's credentials before undergoing any type of laser treatment. If you'd like more information, you can go to our website at NBC4.com and click on Online Extras. Lots of uh, options for mm -hmm. lots of people. Trying to look their best. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't we all? Thanks, Dory. <laughs> sure.